So why would it matter if I'm holding the, rain, the lead rope like a rein on the ground versus in the saddle? Well, this is how it works for me, is it makes me work consistent. I feel, I have better feel with my horse, so when I'm riding it, I know what I'm, I know what I'm feeling when I'm riding, and I know what to feel for on the ground. It's consistent, it's the same. So here she's kind of leaning on a little bit. We'll, we'll add a little bit to it so that we can change that. I don't care if she's bent in on a circle today. We just got her out. Switch directions here. And when I switch directions, I go, I just take one rein. Okay, so I, I'm riding with one rein, my inside rein. I don't have an outside rein. So I close my hand on the outside rein to help get a little bend. I get my bend, I give and take, good feel and good timing. And when I'm ready to switch directions, this inside rein becomes the outside rein, which when I change directions is now the inside rein. That's the main reason why I do it. And I don't, Want, I don't feel like I have to have a death grip on my horse all the time. I don't want to ride him with a death grip. I don't want to lead him with a death grip. One more piece why I like holding my lead rope like a rein. When I ask her to come up to me, how am I holding it? I'm holding it like a rein. Okay, we're going to do that a little bit closer. So I'm going to send her out. Again, I have my rein. Inside rein, use the whip for my inside leg, create a little bit of bend, bring my hands together, switch directions. My outside, inside rein became my outside rein and turned into my inside rein again. And then when I'm done and I want to lead her somewhere, I need her to come up to me, how do I do it? I do the same thing. I, I mean, this is what, what almost everybody does. Most people don't grab their whole horse to pull them towards them this way. We, we go this way. Well, if I was riding my horse, this would be my, <laughs> this would be my right rein. I'm holding it like a rein, still. On the other side of it too, the, the better feel that you have when it comes to backing your horses is usually a pinky up towards the horse, right? Well, if I do that, and then I'm gonna come around here, and I slide my hand down here to where I'm riding, I'm holding it like a ring. We're being inconsistent with how we're using our hands with the horses, and that inconsistency causes that inconsistency causes us to have little blips in our, in our work. Because one minute we're holding the lead like this, next minute we're holding it like this, then we get on and ride them, we're riding like this. Now I know that there's a couple different ways to hold your reins when you're riding, depending on the style you ride. But basics, they're still, they're, you're still holding with the, the rein that's going to your horse is coming off the bottom of your hand from your pinky. So the more consistent we are on the little things, in the end, the better we'll be with the more advanced things because we've put all these little things and we've done them all the same. Horses like that consistency. So if my feel is, is different pulling on my horse with it coming out the top of my hand, then my feel when it's coming out the bottom, I'm not gonna be talking to my horse the same. It's, it's not, cons not as consistent as it can be. That's why I like to use my lead rope and I like to call my lead rope a rein and I like to hold it like a rein, regardless of what I'm doing. If I need her to flex, let's get rid of this whip here. If I need her to flex, how do we, how do we flex our horses? You flex way more than you need to. We flex, we don't flex like this. It's hard to have good feel with it. When we flex them, we flex them here, just like we would when we were riding with a rein. We have better feel, we have better control over our hand and, and 
how that is com communicating with the horse. That's why I call my lead rope a rein. That's why I hold my lead ropes like a rein. That's why I treat them like a rein. That way I'm consistent all the time. That's how it's worked for me. That's how I've done it for years and I will continue to do it that way because it makes sense to me. It makes sense that I'm doing everything exactly the same regardless if this if rope is connected to a halter or connected to a snaffle or if it's a set of leather reins connected to a, a, a shank bit and I'm riding a finished horse, it doesn't matter. These, my hands are communicating with the horse the exact same way with all my tools.